So this is um, Little Switzerland campsite here in Folkestone. Um, it's a very nice campsite, just taking a little walk here to give you a, a little look around. Little Switzerland here in Folkestone is a very nice campsite. It's really, really nice. Uh, sits quite close to the Warren and the English Channel, um, and beautiful setting. Um, certainly recommend it if you're in this part of Kent. You've got a camper van, motorhome, or a tent. I would recommend this place totally. It's a little restaurant where you can have breakfast, coffee, alcohol, whatever you want. This is the outside area. Looking down on the Warren here from Little Switzerland, and that's the English Channel. And France straight across there. Another view looking down the Warren towards English Channel and right behind the white cliff there is Dover. You can just see the ferry uh, there at the corner and that railway line there runs um, from, well it runs from either London, St Pancras International and Victoria and Charing Cross right through to Dover Priory and onwards towards Ramsgate. Um, it's quite a nice journey that. You follow the Warren from Folks and Central into Dover Priory. So just looking over towards um, Little Switzerland from there, just where I was, and you can see right round the Warren, and you can see Dover in the corner there. So I'm now going to head over by Martello Tower and um, head towards Folkestone Harbour. Um, this, is, this route I'm on is actually part of the England Coastal Path. Um, just this little section that I've joined there at the moment. I'm only on it for about a few minutes. Martello Tower, just one of them here in Folkestone. Looking down towards Folkestone Harbour and you can see there the Grand Burston Hotel which um, caters for a lot of coach trips from people from Scotland and the north of England visit weekend breaks down here. And here we are at Sunny Sands Beach here in Folkestone in Kent. Not so 
so busy today, usually it's a lot busier. Uh, maybe get busier later on. And of course, as I mentioned before, the Burston, the Grand Burston Hotel there in the background. That's um, Rock Salt restaurant there, uh, owned by, run by Mark Sargent, who is a famous chef. Chummies over there. Another view of Rock Salt restaurant here in Folkestone, run by Mark Sargent. So, this is the, the old line that used to run from Folkestone Central, Folkestone East, down to Folkestone Harbour. Folkestone Harbour Station um, closed down in 2014, I believe, but 1994, once the Channel Tunnel opened, um, this service wasn't used very regularly, it wasn't feasible. So then it was used for um, charter trains like the Orient Express. So, um, it's a shame that it's closed down, uh, but they've regenerated it, made it, sort of made it like a sort of museum piece, which we'll see in a little minute. The signal box here at Folkestone Harbour, um, it's actually made into a restaurant now. And this is, they've really done this really nice. Um, I'll just take a little walk down here, and um, you'll see what we're talking about. Once the ferry port uh, left Folkestone, uh, we spoke about bringing ferries back here, but whether that happens or not, we don't know. And this leads on to the Harbour Arm, which I'm going to be walking along just very soon. There's a little notice of the history of Folkestone Harbour Station. You may want to pause this to read it. This is the beachside bar here next to Folkestone Harbour Station. It's very nice. You would think you were in Spain actually. Well, maybe not quite as hot, but it has been. That's another notice of some facts about Folkestone Harbour Station rest restoration. Um, you might want to pause this to read it all. I'm very surprised how quiet it is. It's normally busy on a Sunday. Mind you, it's still Sunday morning, so it'll probably get busier as the day goes on. Harbour Arm, which I'm just about to walk along now. Uh, 
And that said, Sunny Sands Beach across there from the Folkestone Harbour Arm where I just walked past recently. And there's Martello Tower up there where I also walked from. So on the Folkestone Harbour Arm. I really like what they've done here, it's really nice. Oh, railway carriages. And there is the big Greek bus. Well, this has been here for quite a few years now as well. choppy today so it is English Channel. A lot of fishermen along here. There are plenty of beaches in and around the folks to, to choose from. Uh, this one's uh, I think it's Lower Gate Sand Lower Sand Gate Road. This one's got sort of more pebbles and so you've got the choice of a sandy beach or a pebble beach and it goes for miles then you've got mermaid beach in the distance it's quite a bit today. and that's uh, the Folkestone Harbour old railway line where I walked earlier on the train used to come down to Folkestone Harbour station the Orient Express also used to come down here and that's the Grand Burst Hotel a closer up view of it when you actually look at it it's actually shaped like a boat or a ship should I say Road of Remembrance. It's a fair trek up the Road of Remembrance to the top of it. Nearly getting there. See, there's poppies all the way along the railings right from the bottom to the top as you can see there on the left finally made the top of Road of Remembrance and now heading along there which is the Lees You can see how dry the grass is, um, not been a lot of rain here at all, could do with some. And that's old Lee's Lift, 
which goes from Lower Sandgate Road up to the Lees, but they've been closed down a few years now. Um, they're hoping to get them back open again with a bit of funding. Hopefully that'll go ahead soon. Towards North Sandgate Road Beach from the Lees. As I mentioned before, the beaches go for miles right through to Sandgate, past Hive and uh, Dungeness. Miles and miles of beaches here. It's a little bit cloudy, but it's still warm which is quite nice to get a little breeze to be honest, it's a warm breeze as well and that's the Lee's Cliff Hall, they have quite a lot of different shows on in there it's really quite nice Channel Suite flats they had been built, new apartments, very nice. This is a better view of the North Sandgate Beach, of course Mare Beach Beach is over to the right there, past there. It's a beautiful walk along there to Sandgate and even, well, I've walked to um, Hive which is quite a bit of a walk, but it's a nice walk along that coastline. Folkestone's a very nice, well-kept town, clean town as well, you know. Definitely worth a visit if you're down in Kent, southeast of England. So anyway, this is about as far as I'm going to walk along the Lees today, but as I say, it goes for quite a few more miles. It's a nice walk, but I'm going to head back into the town centre and get a few video clips from there, and then that will be it for today. So this is one of the main shopping streets and folks in Sandgate Road. That, that building there used to be Debenham's department store, but unfortunately it's closed down. Um, all the stores closed down, including uh, Burton's and Dorothy Perkins. This is the um, Boothry Place Shopping Centre, which has a big Asda attached to it in Mountain Story Car Park. The British Lion pub is the oldest pub in Folkestone. Morris dancers here. So I'll head down the old High Street back down towards the harbour and then head back where I'm staying. So this is the old High Street here in Folkestone. It's 
quite a nice street, old cobbled street. Lots of different quirky shops here. On the old high street here in Folkestone. nearly at the bottom of the high street the old high street I should say get it right Jason and that's just exactly where I walked down from there the old high street so I'm basically heading back to the harbour where I was before and I've sort of did a little loop round and you can see it's a lot busier now because we're into the afternoon now where before it was sort of around early, mo well, late, early morning. The Royal George Bar. I've had a pint in there many a time. So this is me walking back along the fish market and um, there's Bob's seafood there which we've seen uh, previous. So this is me back on the fish market down at Folkestone Harbour. As you can see it's a lot busier now um, and there's Bob's seafood that we saw earlier on in the video so I'm just basically heading back I certainly do recommend Folkestone it's a very nice place and as I say the beautiful area there's other places surrounding Folkestone as well that you can visit Dover's about five miles from Folkestone. Continuing on back towards Sunny Sands. There's Sunny Sands Beach. You can see that the tide has come in quite a lot since earlier on when I was walking past here. A lot busier now as well. Glorious day here. Walking along Sunny Sands Beach, um, heading back to where I'm staying. So, a little bit of music on the way as well. So, 
I shall um, continue up them steps here. And that's where I came down earlier on. So I'm not going to video the same thing again, although I've done so much of the same as earlier on. Just, just wanted to let you see how different, how busy it was compared to this morning and obviously the tides in now as well. So, um, yes. So we'll just have this last glimpse of Sunny Sands Beach here in Folkestone and then I shall close the video to an end and thank you all for watching and I'll see you next time on my next video adventure wherever that may be. Bye!